Attention, Air India has temporarily suspended flights to Tel Aviv. Uh, this is what officials are telling NDTV. This is the fallout of the Iran-Israel conflict. Officials say that Air India temporarily suspends uh, flights to Tel Aviv. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, this is uh, Air India has suspended even after Israel has opened its uh, airspace. Let me go across uh, very quickly to my colleague Vishnu Shom, who is joining us with more details at this moment. Vishnu, uh, the impact, in fact, of course, uh, being seen of this conflict in West Asia across the globe, particularly this is going to impact the aviation sector in India. It's not really going to impact the aviation sector in India at this stage. And as far as Air India is concerned, they have cancelled their flight today. They fly four times a, a, a week to Tel Aviv. Uh, but Israeli airspace was shut. So they didn't really have, uh, while they were monitoring it today, out of abundant precaution, they decided to cancel their flight. Now, Israeli airspace has opened up once again, and the sense is that um, it's a matter of time before Air India resumes flights, so they haven't taken a date, uh, you know, uh, as yet on when they'll do that. As far as aviation to the West is concerned, uh, since yesterday, and this is a story that NDTV broke, uh, flights out of India traveling west are having to divert to a new route, which is approximately 45 minutes longer than what it previously was. Uh, but in flights uh, to Europe uh, for on Indian airlines, whether it's Vistara or Air India, have not been impacted. They continue with their usual schedules. As far as the rise in price, ticket prices is concerned, uh, that might take place, but not immediately. And if the situation resolves itself, and people are hoping that it does, then that may not happen at all.